Welcome back to Connecticut's Morning Buzz with record-breaking travel over the Labor Day weekend. This fall is lined up to be very busy on the roads, in the air, and even on cruise ships. But with a likely surge in COVID, what can we do to stay safe? That is the question. With more now is Dr. Imran Ali. He can hopefully answer some of those for us. Welcome. Absolutely. So a lot of people are talking about a surge in COVID yes. cases. And I mean, honestly, in July, we had about 6,000 hospitalizations nationally. According to the CDC, that number has risen to 17,000. So not everybody is in the ICU. And and, you know, I be honest with you, I don't think we'll have the large spikes like we've seen before. Right. But nonetheless, those who are at higher risk are going to be, you know, at greater risk of getting seriously ill. And I have personally in the last two weeks seen some of my elderly patients and those who are immunocompromised get quite ill. Okay, so it's still something to be aware of. Um, now people are starting to wonder, will the masks make their way back into our daily lives? What, what do you think here? I don't think so. I think we have about 69% uh, of the nation fully vaccinated. Uh, only 17%, however, have the bivalent update, but so that's enough to really not bring back the mask mandate. I'm gonna advise people who are immunocompromised, who have cancer, who are on pre prednisone or other steroids to really consider wearing masks because now we see the virus here on the graph you can see here these spike proteins yeah. the new variant that's now spreading called pyrola they have certain mutations on these spike proteins which allow the virus to enter the cells more easily the good news is though that this updated booster vaccine is entirely effective uh, against this new strain and all the strains we have seen so far. So this booster that's going to be hopefully approved by tomorrow as the CDC meets tomorrow. Wow. Um, I think we should be in very good shape. Okay, so the booster is out there as of, it will be as of well, tomorrow? Yes, yeah, so tomorrow the CDC is going to meet and then officially the FDA will give the green light and that's important because then insurance will be yes. able to cover it. Uh, and it will be an additional booster that you would get like the flu shot. Right, so we'll stay on top of that. I'm sure Absolutely. you'll keep us posted. <laughs> and I know you recently, we are talking about travel. Uh, we're on a cruise. I was indeed, I was um, in Europe and you know, at that time, COVID actually was rising. Uh, yeah. COVID was actually rising first in Europe. The Parola strain started up in the UK. And actually right now, the nursing homes in the UK are seeing most of the cases. And that's why the booster is gonna be mandated by the United Kingdom government for nursing homes. Okay. But I had some great tips um, for traveling. I mean, you should still travel. Uh, here are some tips that I gave um, people when I was traveling on the cruise ship. So cruising can be a great enjoyable experience, but also it's quite important to understand some safety tips for cruising. And I just came on this cruise ship to the heart of Norway, and we will talk more about how to stay safe on a cruise ship. So the most important thing on any cruise ship is to provide protection against germs spreading when you eat. So it's so important to wash your hands actually with soap and water and it's not just sufficient to use hand sanitizer because there are certain bacteria okay some great tips there for some of our viewers who might be traveling coming up it's still safe you just gotta you know yeah, just take do a little extra sense. steps i think when it comes to masks know your risks okay. and um just just enjoy you know the fall season right. well dr imran ali thank you so much for the great tips and thank you we will be right back stick with us